Next photograph is 5-6A. Again, shows another picture of, uh, of Glenna Sharp. There's a uh, little black object laying on the floor uh, right underneath the yellow uh, identification board and just to the right of the uh, um, blue jacket. That object turned out to be a, a broken front side off of a pellet gun, a daisy pellet gun. We've identified the, uh, the site as being from a daisy pellet gun, but we haven't found the pellet gun. I, I should I should make it clear that um, in counseling or, or in therapy, <clears throat> there's a um, I don't want to diminish it by using this this kind of language, but th there's there's a bit of a waltz that's taking place between the subject and the therapist, um, and I think there's a, a feeling out process and a getting to know one another. And from the therapist's point of view, from my point of view, it's to establish trust so that he felt that that was a safe place for him to come and discuss any subject matter um, uh, at all. And um, in our conversations, I made it clear to him and he understood. He, he seemed of uh, at least average intelligence. Um, and he clearly understood that um, uh, to hold things back or to hold things inside um, could be detrimental to his success in, in the counseling, uh, whereas discussing it and getting it out and uh, out into the open and sharing it could be helpful. I think he understood that and uh, he absorbed it and was thinking about it.